the question. Speaking of which, jumping on in, Snap flashing early, but that's not really going to work as ADD. Uh -oh. uh, uh -oh. Is it going to work, uh -oh. though? It definitely does work. The double kill, the Snap totally bombs. And the Baron buff in the bottom side, Snap trying to go on to Keen here. Going to get a look at this fight. And a Hextech ultimatum in is going to dodge the repost in the one hit. Down from half health, Smev outplaying Keen does win the fight. Smev is always the thinker on the Camille. He will never let Repose. on death is alone. Oh yeah, he's just gonna go ahead and have the flash over the wall. In the meantime, Finger gonna get locked down with the Hextech ultimatum, but Smep finds the kill. Finger, like you said, out of position. The collapse comes through a bit faster there from KPT that they can get on top of death. And now they're looking for Adara. Hook shot in, gets the stun. Tactical sweep for the slow up. Counter strike goes in, gets the stun there on Smep, and he'll flash the wall. But Smep is actually pursuing. Oh, all up oh! Oh, shot in the middle of the leap strike. Adara gets the nine, gets taken down. Smep. With a delayed double kill, 200 IQ play comes through, and KT may be looking at a mid turn, if not the Absolutely wrecking them in that two. So much damage. Smeb has to hop away. Depth has to limp away from this fight. And it might be the delayed ace to come in from SKT. There it is. The Birdman himself picks up the kill onto the Zaya. Smeb, one auto attack away from dead as he gets the Mega Nar, Nars them all away, and he's buying some time. Has a Blast Cone to get himself over. And now the teleport to come in. Is he going to get out? Oh, he does. He does it. <laughs> oh, Smeb. Oh. There it is. Oh, what? The auto attack followed him the whole way. Oh, ends up being up. comical stuff. Yeah, but it ends up being auto. five kills eventually, Atlas and the Baron to the side of SKT. Double mountain breaks, it speaks to their strengths of being able to burst out the Baron, and they're hoping to get rocks oh, and pull out. Oh, 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 teleport's coming in! Curtain call and wish have already been used. The trick is running away! Expect gets caught down. He's got a PA, remember, but he needs Mega Ball. Oh, oh, no! Oh, never I've seen one! A G2 or Ace! The best timing! <laughs> So first turn of the game does fall. Smeb shows up to find Soul and Flawless. Tries to go for the Rift Herald. He's gonna slow him up. Get Peanut time to get there. And Flawless take it down again. Oh, the hook! He tried to get away. But he got caught. The hook. Brought him back in again. Soul in big trouble. Wow, that was the fadeaway hook. <laughs> 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 you want Sandway is reaching the microphone. Our change into impulse. Don't need to worry about your pre-recorded music tapes being accidentally erased. It can't happen. Let's... 
12. And we're 34 minutes in, so this could actually mean the inhibitor going down. Great. If you are crew right now, who does SKT remind you of right now? A team down, holding out with some nice team power. I was gonna say Brock Brock. Feels Brock like it. Attack. Attack. this game is brewing. Oh, oh, Danny Snap. oh Snap! Bringing out the plays. He had a bit more to offer. He is just taking the turret with happiness. A smile on his face. A few more hits. Snap! Coming up with a 2v1 very nicely. And this is where SKT... Gonna find Mata though. Good start for them. They're trying to get them. You can see Mata's pretty low. Pawn eating a bunch of damage. Smep though waiting in the wings. Could get this big knockup. He's gonna find it. The heroic entrance on four. A huge knockup. That's the engage that KT was looking for. And this time Ever8 will have zero chance of winning this fight. Keen gets away with his life, but a big fight for KT. The bouncing castle and away from the fight, Curtin Call still He's coming dead. through. Fly gets killed, KT turns immediately on the Baron. Can they take it out though? It's still risky, even with Peanut down. Angling O is up, remember. Rox Tigers fighting for their tournament life here, fighting for perhaps their team life. Baron taken, oh, it's taken by Smep! Oh! Smep stole the Baron! Smep stole the Baron! They're going after Fly now, and Rox Tigers turning it around. Hachani solo, Can that's two kills. Unbelievable he Baron did it. steal! He did it! And KT oh on the run! It's two for three, but Rock Tiger. So, so first tower for KT going over. Oh, too late, still looking for the players. Tushin comes in with an Abyssal Boy of in on the backside, looking for score. A little bit of damage in onto him, but instead they want Smep. He's going to be the juicier target, the easier one to lock down. And then Horizon not quite going to be able to lock him in. He's got that support and keep himself safe. And Smep, will he make Teleport it out of here alive? Event Horizon comes oh, down. Oh, it just does! No, Wait he up. made it out! Are you kidding me? Smep didn't get caught by the Event Horizon. So the is Teleport! Holy crap! Look at that by Smep. He gets out! That Makes it out alive at the end. But uh, Rakan still with the extra power there, but he did as well. Yeah, going on your fight, it's kind of insane that Rocks are keeping up in levels and getting that gold True. or gold value that comes with the levels, but they just don't have options against the seed uh, outside of a massive engagement. They just don't think it's time yet. Yeah. Galen is just in his face. Snap though. There he goes. Viking. Goes from Kuro. He's trying to get a hit from Smap. They're right on the stick safe. He goes down. They were waiting for the moment to pull the trigger. And who he's going to do a bit of damage to keep them at bay? It's not a Narbar from Darshan. They're not going to be too scared of it, but they are able to still group in mid lane. He's going to try to build that up you know? now. But they do recognize the attack and they say, there's nothing for Darshan. We can engage here. It's Smithy going too far. Force forced to flash and cleanse out for himself. Prey very low on the outside. And Darshan's able to pick up Prey as they get back into the fight. Kuki was just doing tick after.